Tonight on the Nolan Show, we're going to start things off with a slow-moving, grainy montage of the Troubles. Just to further cement feelings of division, particularly in our working class communities, in a bid to stop them all focusing on the important matters, like our education and health systems, and instead argue about the names of streets. Then I've got two guests on, both from opposite sides of the political spectrum, and they're loaded up with just enough cutting-edge waffle and political rhetoric to ensure that nothing really Amen. gets resolved at all, ever. Well, thanks for having me, Stephen. Uh, thanks for having me, Stephen. Oh, hang on. And, and at the end, we'll have a few people phone in whose families can't even bear to listen to them anymore. These people have Amen. fried everyone's heads that they live with, and they're going to phone us up and begin making some kind of delusional point of view. Amen. And uh, But just, ju- just, ju- hang on, just as they start Amen. trying to make it, I'm gonna cut them off. Amen. So it just ju- Stephen. What? Yeah, it's over, Stephen. The working class of Northern Ireland have came together and they have realised that they have more in common with each other than not, and they have created a stable socialist system that prioritises healthcare, education, empathy, and compassion over making profits and destroying the environment. No. No, Stephen, it's over. The paramilitaries, instead of manipulating drug addicts into going out rioting to clear drug debts that they'll never get out of, they've all came together and built a youth club and support network for working class youths in deprived areas of Northern Ireland. No! No, Stephen, it's over. People have stopped fetishising the troubles. At NECAP have changed their name to Elbow. And, and although they are receiving much less funding and promotion from corporations like the BBC, they are doing a song with young Spencer about how if we all stopped eating meat two days a week, we could solve world hunger. No! Jesus, what a fucking nightmare. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, excuse me, no. What what you're trying to say about my culture and where I come from doesn't mean that you have the right to say... Oh, thank God. What's the matter, Stephen? Oh, I just I had that nightmare again. The, the one with the power hose? No, it was a different nightmare. I, just, I, I don't really want to talk no, about Stephen, it. Stephen, I think you're overworked. I, it's, it's okay to take some time off, you know? Maybe you're right. But but if I'm not there, then who will platform the better sectarian people of Northern Ireland? Stephen, until you're back fighting fit, that's not your problem. But if I don't, I, sometimes I walk around Belfast and I, I see the, the peace walls and the sectarian graffiti and the, the miserable weather, and I, all I can think is, how can I make this worse? But Stephen, you do make it worse. Think of all your broadcasts where you pit Catholic versus Protestants under the guise of investigative journalism when really you're just playing people's insecurities off of each other in the wake of a civil war for ratings. Well, when you put it like that... Well, he's right, Stephen. If it wasn't for you, I then... I told the- you to stay down there! Now, say that last part to me again, but this time do it in Ulster Scots. Oh, Stephen...